don't worry. This video isn't trying to convince you to stop eating meat. I'm not here to save the animals or lecture you about the environment. I just want you to bloody leave me alone while I'm trying to enjoy my veggie burger. See, when I say I'm a vegetarian, some meat eaters get this special look in their eyes. Uh -huh. Then they'll ask me something like, is it for religious reasons? Babes, I know I've got a brown face, but that doesn't mean that I definitely belong to a different face group. Or else I get asked, do you just really, really, really love animals? Actually, no. I don't spend my free time crying over videos of kittens dying of natural causes. I think the reason why I get asked those questions is because meat eaters are hoping for some confirmation that they're normal and vegetarians like me are tree-hugging freaks. Instead of assuming I'm different, some people just assume I'm dumb. They tell me I can't possibly be getting all the protein I need. Uh, rude, when is it okay to tell someone they're too ignorant to realise they're making themselves sick? Plus, anyone who wants to pretend they're some kind of nutritional expert had better be able to explain why vegetarians tend to live longer. And yes, I know cavemen and women all ate meat, but they also humped their siblings, so... When all these arguments don't impress me, my fellow diner will turn to me and proudly tell me that they just love their food. The implication being that I don't. Come on, Mona. I mean, bacon. Bacon. Well, actually, studies have shown vegetarians do enjoy their food, and they still react positively to meat, even though they don't eat it. In fact, a survey of over a quarter of a million OK Cupid users found that vegetarians were much more likely than meat eaters to say they enjoy giving oral sex, so they can't be too repulsed by the sight of a sausage. But there's another problem with the bacon argument. Suddenly, a debate about what's right becomes a debate about what's pleasurable. But those two things are always held separately in ethics, and for good reason. When was I enjoy this ever an acceptable justification for doing whatever the hell you like? I reckon some of you meat eaters get all judgmental on me because deep down you're actually judging yourselves. A 2007 study found that meat eaters viewed vegetarians as weak individuals and the more that they felt judged by the vegetarians, the more weak they viewed them. But actually some of that was just plain paranoia. The vegetarians had far less of a problem with meat eaters than they were expected to. So it's carnivores who have got beef, not us. Stereotyping vegetarians as overly sentimental moral zealots is a pretty good way for meat eaters to avoid scrutinising their own life choices. Because you can't legitimately ignore something once you know the consequences of it. And I reckon most people who eat meat do have an inkling that if they think about it too hard, they'll either have to give up their bacon or feel guilty with every mouthful. So vegetarians like me are a walking threat to their happiness. Better to assume that walking threat is emotionally unbalanced, lives off hummus and has hairy armpits. We're going to share some tips and tricks to help you become a more sustainable beef consumer. I shit in a litter box. This is my poop pile.